Lanny, you and your firm represent several countries that have a horrible human rights uh, record. Did you at any time email Secretary Clinton on that private email about any business pertaining to the countries that you represent? Actually, you're wrong. My firm doesn't represent horrible countries. You are not only wrong, but to then attack me rather than facing the facts that nothing done here was illegal. And no, the but attorney, did you email her about business? The, the answer is no. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that was a little confrontation uh, yesterday on CNN um, with Lanny Davis. And um, joining us now is Ed Morrissey, featured columnist for HotAir.com and columnist for The Week. Hello, Ed. Welcome back. Thank you very much. Great to be back with well, you. But that, that, that little confrontation was interesting because Lanny Davis was on, of course, defending uh, Hillary blindly, as he always does. And um, as Sean Spicer said, uh, when you uh, and your firm were representing countries that had terrible human rights records, did you email Hillary? And he said, I, we've never defended those country, countries with you. And he brought up Bishop Tutu. And, but the fact of the matter is, Honduras, New Guinea, uh, I'm sorry, Honduras, Guinea, and... Um, and I got one more that I can't think of. Uh, his he and his law firm represented. So very interesting. But let let's move on. I want to move on to uh, to to Cable and Brian Williams and all that stuff. Turns out there are reports now that Brian Williams and this should not come as a surprise buried uh, stories that would have been harmful or sensational uh, when it comes to Barack Obama. I'm stunned. <laughs> Stunned to find this out, Steve. I mean, you can imagine. This is my shocked face. <laughs> well, let's talk about it. Um, the, the first one, uh, you wrote this piece uh, yesterday, and I, I looked at it right away. Um, and, and this is uh, uh, the story number one. There were two. There was Michael Isikoff, and uh, there were Lisa Myers. Why don't you talk about the right. two stories in question? Well, the, the, the one from Isikoff, I believe, was the one about the... Um, about People, millions of people are going to lose their uh, health insurance coverage because of Obamacare. And uh, this goes back prior to when the rollout occurred. And Isikoff had wanted to uh, talk about that on NBC Nightly News. Right, that Obama that, knew back in 2010. That he knew back in 2010 yeah. that it was going to result in millions of people losing their health care plans, even though he'd been promising everybody, if you like your plan, you can keep your right. plan. The PolitiFact lie of the year in 2013. And, uh, but of course, that went back all the way to 2009 when he first started saying this. And he wanted, to, he wanted NBC News to report on this. In, in fact, I believe, for, if I recall correctly, uh, Gabriel Sherman, New York Magazine, who, who wrote this very lengthy article about all of the dysfunction going on at NBC News, buries this down towards the bottom of the article. And it turns out that the, that news was actually broken by Rachel Maddow on MSNBC. Yeah. Which, if you know MSNBC, there's a, a whole heap of irony here that they were willing to go with a... a, a Rachel Maddow was willing to go with the story that Brian Williams was not. That is and insane. the reason why, the reason given was that it was going to be too divisive. <laughs> well, that's not in a, in a, in, in a uh, uh, vacuum because there was another one, at least one more that we know of, Lisa Myers who, oh, by the way, both Isikoff and Myers no longer there. Uh, but right. uh, Lisa Myers had a story of a Justice Department memo which uh, justified the killing of American citizens with drones. You think right. Brian Williams would want to bring that to the public. He did not. I mean, and, and both of these stories, by the way, were not... I mean, the overarching stories were not new. They'd been part of the debate for years. The Obamacare debate had been going on for uh, for about four years at that point. The uh, the drone debate's been going on since the Bush administration. It's it's actually gotten more heightened during the Obama administration because supposedly he was going to change the way America uh, does business overseas, and he, instead he's kind of doubled down on the drones, which is the reason why it doesn't make a lot of sense not to report on these on these stories it's very similar to what happened to Cheryl Atkinson at CBS News I mean she was doing reporting and her her segments would just never get to air right on CBS evening news or on any of the other uh, news programs that were going on there and what I find really interesting about this and again Gabriel Sherman's reporting uh, for all the dysfunction of NBC news it's a really fascinating look at what's going on inside that news division but I mean, and that was New I York. New York I'm sorry, that was a New York Magazine piece, uh, Gabriel New, Sherman. Yeah, New York, New York Magazine piece by Gabriel Sherman. I think I said New Yorker. I apologize. New York Magazine, and uh, I mean, it's interesting. But that's news, and it's buried at the bottom. It's almost the same thing as what he's writing about. Uh, 
has anybody followed up with Lisa Meyer to talk to her about that? That, Lisa would, that would be that would be a, a great thing. And Mike Michael Lisikoff as well. I wonder. I mean, Lisa Myers didn't get her uh, her uh, Juanita Broderick story aired the way she wanted either way back. Hey Ed, always great to talk to you. Keep it up. Read them at Hot Air and the Week.